in this video i will implement full subtractor using decoder and two nand gates so we know that in full subtractor there are three inputs and two outputs let me draw the block diagram of that that is say this is full subtractor let me assume a b c are inputs say a b c are inputs so these are inputs let me assume these are the outputs this is difference output i will represent it as d variable and it is borrow i will represent it as b variable so it has three inputs and two outputs so to implement this we need 3 is to 8 decoder as it has three inputs so to implement this first we supposed to write the truth table let me write the truth table So, as I said, A, B, C are the inputs, D is difference and B is borrow output. Let me write all possible inputs. That is, we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and we have 1, 1, 1. So here inputs are 0, 0, 0, difference is 0, borrow is 0. So let me take, consider two variables, 0 minus 0 is 0, then 0 minus 1 is, difference will be 1, borrow will be 1. So here 0 minus 1, it generates difference as 1, borrow as 1, minus 0, that is 1 minus 0 will be 1. Therefore, difference is 1 and borrow is 1. Next 0, 1, 1, that is 0 minus 1 generates difference as 1, borrow as 1, here we have one more 1, that is 1 minus 1 will be 0, that is difference will be 0, borrow will be 1. So here we have 1, 0, 0, that is 1 minus 0, difference is 1, borrow is 0, here 1, 0, 1, that is 1 minus 1 is 0, difference is also 0. So here 1, 1, 0, difference is 0, borrow is 0. In 1, 1, 1, we have difference is 1, borrow is 1. That is 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 1 is generates difference as 1, borrow as 1. So now by seeing this, I can write the mean term expression in soft form as. So here we have 1, here we have 1, here we have 1, here we have 1. Consider the difference column and mark only the number which is having high output. So mean term for this is, I can write D is equal to summation M, we have, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Here the mean terms are 1, 2, 4 and 7. 1, 2, 4 and 7. Similarly for borrow, I can write it as borrow is equal to mean terms are so here we should see where there is logic is where there is output is one so this is one this is one this is one and here we have one the corresponding mean terms are one two three and seven one two three and seven so now let me implement these two sop functions or soft functions using decoder so here a b c are the inputs And here, these are the enable lines. So here it is said that implement full subtractor using two NAND gates. So to use NAND gates, we must use 3 is to 8, the decoder which is having active low outputs. Because in active low outputs, the output terms are max terms. So we must use NAND gate. As we seen here, this is the soft function. So, to use soft functions using decoder, we must, must use NAND gate. So, let me use the NAND gate. So, I will use this NAND gate for difference output and this for borrow output. So, just we have to use 
the mean terms 1, 2, 4, 7, the corresponding lines are connected to this one. So here 1, we have 2, it is 1, 2, 4, 7. So this is 4 and we have 7. So when we pass these all max terms through the inverter, the complements will get cancelled and will get only min terms. That is output of D will be min terms or SOP. Now let me connect the output of 3 to 8 decoder to get the borrow output. That is here the min terms are 1, 2, 3, 7. Just connect 1, 2, 3, 7 line to borrow. So let me take 1 here. This is 1. So 1, we have 1, 2, 3, 7. So this is 2. Take from here. 1, 2, we have 3. 3 is here. And we have 7. 7 can be taken from here. So this is the borrow output. Thus we have implemented full subtractor using decoder. The advantage of using decoder is you can reduce the number of kits required to implement any function. Thank you for watching.